Hello students, how are you today? Today we're going to talk about geography, but first we're going to talk about the verbs that we have learned. Now, let's t look at some of the tenses that we've used and we'll start with the past. So Susan, what did you do yesterday? I played tennis in the park. Okay. Ali, what did you do last week? I played football with my friends. Isabel, did Ali play golf last week? No, he didn't. He played football. Okay. So, when we talk about the time before now, we use the simple past tense. Let's talk about the present now. Isabel, what do you do every Saturday afternoon? On Saturday afternoons, I go shopping. Susan, what does Isabel do on Saturday afternoons? She goes shopping on Saturday afternoon. Okay. Ali, what time do you get up every morning? I get up at 8 o'clock every morning. All right. Susan, when do you usually eat lunch? I eat lunch at 1. Isabel, when does Susan eat lunch? She eats lunch at 1 o'clock. Okay, good. So, we use the simple tense, the simple present tense, to talk about general things in this time. Now, when we want to talk about the future, we can, talk, we can use the simple future tense. We can use will or going to, and sometimes present continuous. Today we'll use will and be going to. So, we can use to be plus the going to plus the verb when we talk about plans. Be going to plus plants. So, we've seen this before. Be going to verb. Okay? So, these are for plans. Now, some examples are I'm going to go to the cinema tonight. This is my plan, okay? I'm going to go to the cinema tonight. Now, if we uh, want to use will, we can use this plus the verb. We can use this for polite questions, promises, offers, and predictions. So, here's an example. I promise I will phone you tomorrow. I promise. I give you my word. Really. I promise I will phone you tomorrow. Okay? Now, we're going to take a vacation. And first, I want to tell you some of the words that we can use for a vacation. These are places. So let's make some room here, and then I'll show you some of the vocabulary that we can use for vacation. Now, these are nouns. These are nouns. The first one is park. Park. Parks have grass and trees. We see parks in cities. The next one is picnic. Picnic. We eat food on a picnic outside in a park, for example. The next one is baggage or luggage. The bags that we put our clothes in when we travel is called luggage or baggage. Okay, our bags. Trip is the next one. When we go to other places, we say we are going on a trip. Okay? Finally, we, or next, we have barbecue. This is a Q. Barbecue. When we cook food outside, we call this a barbecue. So maybe we have a barbecue at our house or a barbecue at a picnic in a park. Next is postcard. We send postcards 
to our friends when we are on holiday. Okay, usually they come after we come back. So postcards. Next, souvenirs. Souvenirs. This is a French word that came to English. But souvenirs, when we buy special presents for our friends and family on holiday, we call them souvenirs. We bring souvenirs. And everyone needs a passport to travel. A passport is a special document which we need to travel to a different country. All right? Next is sport. We saw this before. Sport. Some sports are games which we play when we are on holiday. For example, beach volleyball or uh, water polo. And finally, we have, very important, a camera. A camera is a machine you use to take a photograph. Okay, now, let's look at some verbs that we can use. Now, the first verb is climb. Climb. Now, it doesn't sound like it looks. Now, if this letter, B, is silent, climb. Okay? We climb a mountain. Next is cook. Cook. I cook food. Maybe I cook food for a barbecue. Catch. Catch. We catch fish when we go fishing. Sometimes we don't catch fish when we go fishing, but catch. Leave. Leave. Bye-bye. When I leave, I say goodbye and go. Stay. When I stay somewhere, I don't go to another place. So I can stay in a hotel, for example, or I can stay in Paris. Travel is a verb. When I travel, I go from place to place. I travel from London to Paris, okay? Travel is the verb. Arrive. When I arrive, I come to a place and stop traveling. I arrived in Paris last night, okay? Next, play. When we do a sport, for example, football, we usually say we play football. We use play especially with ball games, okay? Now, let's talk about articles. Now, you re we're going to talk especially about a and an. Now, remember with a, we use a in front of single countable nouns that start with a consonant sound, b, d, t. An, we use an in front of single countable nouns that start with a vowel sound, okay? Now, for a and an, you have to be careful of these letters, e, h, o, okay? Uh, and, you. Okay? Now, when you uh, see words with these, sometimes they have a different sound. Now, let me show you some examples. Here's one. An umbrella. An umbrella. We haven't seen umbrella before. An umbrella. Okay? Starts with you. It's a vowel. An umbrella because it's a uh sound. Now, another one is a university. A university. But listen to the difference in sounds. A university, you, okay? A university. An umbrella, okay? So the sound of the vowel is very important. Okay, here's some other examples, a house, 
an hour. Now, we have H. H is a consonant, but sometimes we don't say the H. So here we have a house. House. A house. So we hear the H. In this one, we don't say it. It's silent. So we say an hour. An hour. Okay? A house an hour. So, H, you have to watch. Okay, here's another couple of examples. A euro. This one is kind of like this, y. This is how we say it in English, a euro. And we can say an elephant. This one is normal, an elephant. Eh and y. A euro, an elephant. Okay, now look at the screen and you can see a chart reviewing the articles. Now, notice we have articles, countable single nouns, that means one, countable plural nouns, two, three, ten, twenty, and non-countable nouns. Look where we put a or an. First, a and an are general. So with countable single nouns, we have a car. Countable plural, cars, general. And non-countable nouns, traffic, no a. Another example, countable single, an apple. Countable plural, apples, in general. Non-countable, fruit, no a or an. Now, the is special or definite. So, with countable single nouns, we have the car. The car over there. Countable plural, the cars. And non-countable nouns, we can use the, the traffic. The traffic is terrible today. Another example of specific, special, is under countable single nouns, the apple, the apple I ate. Countable plural, the apples. And non-countable nouns, the fruit, the special fruit, the fruit on the table. Okay? So there's a little bit of review for you. Now, we always use articles when we use single countable nouns. Apple, dog, pen. We don't use articles when we use plural nouns. Apples, dogs, pens, when we're talking general. And we don't use articles about general, traffic, fruit, rain, non-countable nouns. And we can use the with both, countable and non-countable if it's special specific. Okay, now let's look at a few more examples. Now, let's make some room here and we'll look at some examples of a and an. Okay, now we talk about a or an when something is general. We're speaking in general. So we can say this is a book. This is a book general. So this is a book, it's any book, it's not a special book. Here's one, this is an egg. And we had to use N because of the E. This is an egg. General, it's not a special egg, it's general. They are cars. They are cars. Plural, general. No article. A group of cars and they're not special. And another example, they are children. They are children. It's a group of children. They're not special. Okay, this is just general. So all of these are general. Singular, plural, plural. Okay? 
Now, if we talk about specific, then these change. If we get specific or special, then we change. We can say, this is the book. This is the book I want. This book is special. Okay? This is the book. This is the egg. This is the egg I want to eat. This is a special egg. This is my egg. Okay? This is the egg. Notice how we change the sound a little bit. The egg. The book. The egg. Okay. Now, we have to change this one a little bit. They are the cars. Now we could put something like this. They are the cars I like. Very specific or special. And then finally, they are the children. They are the children. They are the children, the special children I teach. They are the children. It's a special group now. Okay? So the is used when it's very specific. And look, it's all the same. Okay? Now, let's practice using a, an, or nothing with some words. And the assistants will help us. And these are the words that we're going to use. And then they will tell us what goes before it. A, an, or nothing. So we have banana, tomato, bread, people, orange, and telephones. Now, let's do these one by one, and we'll start with Susan. A banana. Yes. A banana. Okay. Next one, Ali. A tomato. Yes. This is general. Any tomato. A tomato. Okay. Isabel. Bread. Just nothing. X. Okay. It's non-count. Okay. Bread is non-count. It's special. Now, Ali. People. X. Okay. This is general. It's countable, but it's general. And uh, Susan. An orange. Yes, an orange, because it starts with O. And finally, Isabel. Telephones. Yes, nothing. Telephones. Plural and general. Telephones are useful. Okay? Good. Now, it's time for you to look and listen. Look and listen. We went on a picnic yesterday. He is reading an English book. We're going on a trip tomorrow. She ate eggs for breakfast this morning. I will buy you oranges tomorrow. Tomorrow, we're traveling on a bus. Read and repeat. Geographical features. So, what are we doing for our vacation? We are going to take a trip. Are we going to go to park? We can have a picnic. Susan, I'm not cooking on a vacation. Okay. Okay, we can go fishing. We can have a barbecue. And I can cook fish. We can play volleyball on the beach. Yes, we can go swimming in the sea. 
When are we leaving? We're leaving tonight. We'll stay for two days and then we'll leave. Where are we going to go on the trip? Good question. First, let's look at the world. Now, on your screen, you can see a map of the world. Now, we're going to talk about geography. Geography tells about the Earth's land and water. So we're going to learn some new words to talk about geography. Now, first, here are some words for talking about the world's water. Okay, these are words for water. First, we have lake. Now, on your screen, you can see a picture of a lake. This is a lake. A lake has land all around it. Lakes have fresh water. Fresh water is water we can drink. Now, the next one is the sea. This is a sea. Seas are larger than lakes. The water in a sea is salty. We can't drink salt water. The next one is an ocean. An ocean. This is an ocean. Oceans are larger than seas. Oceans are all around the world. And oceans have salt water also. We call lakes, seas, and oceans bodies of water. Bodies of water. Okay, so that's another way to talk about it. If you are standing on the land and looking, it's hard to know if a body of water is a sea or an ocean because we can't see the land on the other side. Now, the next one for water is river. On your screen you see this is a river. Rivers have fresh water. The water in a river moves or flows from one place to another. The next one we can see is a waterfall. A waterfall. Waterfalls happen when a river flows over a cliff. The water falls. Okay. Now, we can also talk about other features on the land. So, these are land features. The very first one is beach. Beach. Okay? Now, you see, this is a beach. Beaches have lots of sand. The next one is a cave. This is a cave or cavern. Caves are like rooms under the ground or in a hill or mountain. The next one is cliff. Cliff. This is a cliff. Cliffs are high. Next we have the countryside or just country. This is the countryside or country. The country is land that's not in the city. Next we have desert. This is a desert. Deserts are hot and dry. Deserts usually have lots of sand. Next is a tree. This is a tree. And a forest. This is a forest. Forests have many trees. Next we have hill. This is a hill. A hill is like a small mountain. We have an island. Island. This is special because we don't say the S. This is an island. Islands have water all around them. Next is mountain. Mountain. This is a mountain. 
A group of mountains is called a mountain range. Next is prairie. Prairie. This is a prairie. Prairies are flat and have lots of grass. And grass, this is easy, this is grass. Green, green grass. And the last one is valley. Valley. This is a valley. A valley is often between two or more mountains or hills. Now, we're going to look at some pictures and I'm going to ask some questions and the assistants are going to answer them. So let's look at the pictures and uh, the first picture is here and we'll start with Isabel. Is this a beach or a valley? It's a beach. Yes, it's a beach. Susan, is this a cave or a beach? It is a cave. Yes, it's a cave. Ali, the next one is for you. Is this a hill or a cliff? It's a cliff. Yes, it is. Isabel, you do the next one. Is this the countryside or is it a city? It's the countryside. Yes, it's beautiful countryside. Okay, Susan, you're next. Is this a mountain or is it a hill? It is a mountain. Yes, it is a mountain. Ali, the next one for you. Is this a sea or is it a forest? It's a sea. It's a sea. We see the sea. Okay, Susan, next. Is this a mountain or is it a hill? It is a hill. It's a hill, yes. Okay, Isabel, for you, is this a valley or is it an island? It's an island. Yes, it's an island. And Ali, is this a forest or is it a desert? It's a desert. It's a desert. Susan, for you, is this an ocean or is it a lake? It is a lake. Yes, it's a lake. Okay, last one, Ali. Is this a sea or is it a waterfall? It's a waterfall. It's a waterfall. Good job, everybody. Now it's time to look and listen. Look and listen. I'm taking a walk in the forest tonight. They were playing volleyball on the beach yesterday. Are you going to have a picnic in the countryside? No, we're not. Ali went skiing on a big mountain last year. The men are fishing on the lake the day after tomorrow. Read and repeat. Landmarks. Some natural features are special. So there's special kinds of geography. These are called landmarks. Landmarks. Okay? Landmarks. They're special places on the land. Now, some of them are famous. Everybody knows about them. And people often go and see these landmarks on their vacations. Now, we're going to look at some of the world's famous landmarks. Maybe you know some of them. First, this is a picture of Acapulco Beach in Mexico. This is Acapulco Beach in Mexico. The next picture, this is the Alps. It's a mountain range 
in Europe. Then we have the Bosporus. This is the Bosporus Strait in Turkey. The Bosporus flows between the Black Sea and the Marmara Sea. This is Niagara Falls. It's between Canada and the US. This is a cave in the Carlsbad Caverns. It's in the United States. This is the Sahara Desert. It's in Africa. Now, some geographic features are not natural. They're made by people. We can call them landmarks, special buildings, buildings, structures, or monuments. So these are landmarks built by people, buildings, structures, and monuments. So a building might be a, a, somewhere that someone lives or uses. A structure is not for living, and a monument is to remember somebody by, for example. Okay, so, and uh, we can also use structures like a bridge. Now, people sometimes visit these on their vacations, and here are some. Now, maybe you know some of these, or maybe you visited some of them. These are the pyramids in Egypt. This is the Golden Gate Bridge in San Francisco. It's a structure. This is the Statue of Liberty in New York. This is the Eiffel Tower in Paris. Everybody knows the Eiffel Tower. This is Stonehenge in England. And this is the Sydney Opera House in Australia. Now, let's see if you know of some other ones. Now, we're going to do these in groups and our assistants will tell us what they know and we're going to start with buildings. Okay, so Ali, you start. What's a building? The Blue Mosque in Istanbul. Okay, the Blue Mosque. The Blue Mosque in Istanbul. Okay, now Susan. The Petrona Towers in Malaysia. Okay, the Petrona Towers, very big buildings. And Isabel? The Louvre Museum in Paris. Yes, the Louvre, the Louvre, very famous museum. Okay, now let's do some structures. So these are kind of like buildings, but a little bit different. Isabel, you start. Notre Dame Cathedral. Yes, Notre Dame Cathedral. A cathedral is like a big church. Okay, Ali? The Antique Theater at FS. Yes, the Antique Theater at FS. Where's FS? FS is in Izmir. And where's Izmir? Izmir is at the western region of Turkey. Okay, so Izmir is in Turkey. So FS is in Turkey. Okay, and Susan? The Chinese temple. All right, and where is the Chinese temple? It is in Malaysia. Yes, of course. All right. Now, let's look at some monuments. And these are special structures. Okay, Isabel. The Ark of Triumph. Yes. The Arch of Triumph. In French, it's L'Arc de Triomphe. So sometimes, even in English, we see it written like this, but sometimes like this, the Arch of Triumph. Okay, Ali? The Horse at Troy. Yes, the Horse at Troy. Where's Troy? I don't know. 
It's in Turkey. It's in Turkey. It's what in is? Turkey. Okay. It doesn't matter. It's in Turkey. And Susan? The Washington Monument. Yes. The Washington Monument. And Susan, where is the Washington Monument? I think it is in Washington. Yes, it's in Washington. Now it's time to look and listen. Look and listen. I plan to visit the museums in Paris. They took photographs of the Sydney Opera House yesterday. We will visit the Statue of Liberty when we go to New York. He drives to the Golden Gate Bridge every day. Next summer, we're traveling to the pyramids. Read and repeat. Review. So, now we know something about what the world looks like. Now, let's plan a dream vacation. Now, Isabel, let's hear your dream vacation. Okay. We are going to go to Acapulco Beach in Mexico tomorrow. We are going to play volleyball on the beach. We can have a barbecue. Okay, sounds good. Susan, what's your idea? We are going to go to Turkey. We are going to go sailing on the Bosporus tomorrow. We are going to have a picnic. Then we can travel to the countryside. Okay, all right. Ali? We are going to Alps tonight. I will climb some mountains tomorrow. You can stay in a valley and have a picnic. Okay. I want to go to the Sahara. I like sand. Isabel, the desert is dry and hot. There's no water. Uh, we can go to America. We can see caves and waterfalls. We can stay in Yellowstone National Park. Okay. I went to America last year. I traveled through lots of prairies. No caves, Isabel. I am not going to in, in the ground. Uh, or into a hill or mountain. Okay, you're not going to go in the ground, all right? Let's take a trip to Hawaii. Isabel can sit on the beach. I am going to go swimming in the ocean tomorrow. Ali and Miss Stone can climb cliffs or mountain on an island. I'm not climbing cliffs or mountains, sorry. I can't climb a hill. My knees are sore. Are we going to go to Niagara Falls? Our teacher is from Canada. What are you going to do at Niagara Falls? I will take some photographs. Okay. Susan, when are we going to leave? We are going to leave tonight. Sorry, class. We're not really leaving tonight. We're not going on a vacation. We're all just dreaming. Tomorrow we have to go to work or to school. And now, you're going to listen and write. Listen and write. Listen and write these words. Number one. Mountain. Mountain. Number two. Prairie. Prairie. Number three. Climbing. Climbing. Number four. Barbecue. Barbecue. Number five. Picnic. Picnic. Number six. 
sailing, sailing. Number seven, swimming, swimming. Now, check your work. Number one, mountain, mountain. Number two, prairie. Number three, climbing. Number four, barbecue. Number five, picnic. Number six, sailing. Number seven, swimming. Now, listen and write these sentences. Number one, Susan studied at home yesterday. Susan studied at home yesterday. Number two, Isabel and her sister are going to go to Germany tomorrow night. Isabel and her sister are going to go to Germany tomorrow night. Number three, you go to the countryside on the weekend. You go to the countryside on the weekend. Number four, I'm leaving for the mountains now. I'm leaving for the mountains now. Number five, we will have a picnic after work. We will have a picnic after work. Now, check your work. Number one, Susan studied at home yesterday. Number two, Isabel and her sister are going to go to Germany tomorrow night. Number three, you go to the countryside on the weekend. Number four, I'm leaving for the mountains now. Number five, we will have a picnic after work. Now, read this story and answer the questions about it. Read and answer. Last year, Paul went to Spain for his holiday. He swam in the sea every day. In the evening, he ate dinner in a restaurant near the beach. He had a very good holiday. Now he is planning his next holiday. He wants to see a different country this time. He wants to go to Europe. Next week, Paul is going to go on holiday with his friends. They are going to fly to Germany next Friday. They plan to go climbing, skiing, and hiking in the countryside. They are going to come back home next Saturday, so they will be staying in Germany for six days. They are going to stay in a very expensive hotel. When Paul is on holiday, he's going to visit the Black Forest. The Black Forest is a very famous forest. He's also going to have a picnic there with his friends. He told me that he is taking his camera with him and he is taking lots of photographs when he goes to Germany. Now, answer the questions. Number one. Where did Paul go on holiday last year? Where did Paul go on holiday last year? Number two. Where did he eat dinner? Where did he eat dinner? 
Number three. When is Paul going on holiday? When is Paul going on holiday? Number four. Who is Paul going on holiday with? Who is Paul going on holiday with? Number five. How are they traveling to Germany? How are they traveling to Germany? Number six. What do they plan to do when they are on holiday? What do they plan to do when they are on holiday? Now, check your work. Number one. Where did Paul go on holiday last year? He went to Spain last year. Where did he eat dinner? He ate in a restaurant near the beach. Number three. When is Paul going on holiday? Paul is going on holiday next Friday. Number four. Who is Paul going on holiday with? Paul is going on holiday with his friends. Number five. How are they traveling to Germany? They are flying to Germany. Number six. What do they plan to do when they are on holiday? They plan to go climbing, skiing, and hiking in the countryside. Good job. We'll see you next time. Practicing English. What a beautiful day. I could just lie in the grass, look up at the sky, and daydream forever. Yes, it's a great day. No work. It's perfect. The sky looks so blue today. It's just like the sky last summer when I climbed Mount Evans outside Denver. Do you climb, Jack? Yes, I enjoy climbing. My family and I usually take a trip each year and go somewhere we've never been before. I didn't know you were a climber. Have you been to Mount Olympus in Greece? No, not yet. We went to Europe two summers ago and did some climbing in Switzerland. It was awesome to see the Matterhorn. When I was younger, my family and I did a little hiking and climbing in Olympus. But now, I'm really interested in seeing the Rockies in Canada, and then maybe Europe for the Alps. Angie, you went to Europe last summer. Did you do any climbing? <laughs> Shopping is more like it. Right, Angie? Very funny, Jack. No, Sam, to answer your question, we didn't do a lot of climbing, actually. We spent a lot of time in Germany, Prague, and France, touring mostly by bike. That sounds really interesting to me. How did you like seeing Europe from a bicycle? Oh, it was just amazing. Touring the wine country of Bordeaux in France and the Rhineland in Germany. It was a great tour. Okay, guys. Don't laugh at me for what I'm about to say. But I've been thinking about the future. I've been thinking about other options. Like what? Well, what I really love to do is see new places and travel. The... the Amazon, the pyramids in Egypt, the Great Wall of China, the Himalayas. I want to see all these places. So what's your idea? Well, I'm thinking after saving a little money to travel, I'll take this interest I have in hiking and climbing and try to make some money doing it. You know, join a tour company and take other people whitewater rafting, hiking, and climbing. Wow, this is a really exciting possibility. Let's think about this. What are your qualifications? Hmm, okay, here goes. First of all, I love to do it. Second, I'm physically in good condition. I speak three languages, Spanish, Greek, and English. I also have some experience climbing, hiking, and backpacking. I also ski and have already lived on two continents, so I'm adaptable. Hmm, with those kind of skills and abilities, you're hired. But I think that you should also add that you have an easygoing personality, 
remain calm in stressful situations, and you're likely to be pretty reliable in difficult situations. Huh. Thank you, Angie. Well, it is all true. I agree. I think an adventure tour company would be lucky to have you. Well, I haven't spoken to my family yet, but this idea is really interesting to me. Go for it. Jack's right. I think you should get on the internet and make contact with some tour companies and see what you can find out. Hmm. <clears throat> Good idea. Now that we have Alexi's future all planned, it's back uh -huh. to daydreaming for me. Hmm. Me too. Sam, where do you want to travel to? Hmm. I want to go to New Zealand. I want to go to the beach, spend some time in the sun, and surf in the Pacific Ocean. What about you, Angie? I want to go to the Sahara Desert. I can cross the sands on a camel and arrive safely at a desert oasis. What about you, Alexi? Right now, I'd love to be on a photo safari, taking pictures of lions and elephants from really close range. And you, Jack? All of your trips sound great. I want to be on a little island in the Pacific Ocean, maybe Tahiti, reading books and writing. It sounds great. Well, we all have our ideas of what we want to do, and they all sound interesting to me. Let's hope we can make our travel dreams come true someday. Anyone up for ice cream? Now, it's not as exciting as Tahiti, but it is right across the street. Let's go. Mm -hmm.